I mean, you know how to spend $31 million a year in salary, and you can't figure out how to make up a $567 a month shortfall. This is a budget problem you cannot solve. You're an expert on financial statements, and you run a $2.6 trillion bank. I know you're good at numbers, and you've shared lots of opinions recently about how the U.S. should budget its resources, how families should budget their resources, and so I'd like to ask for your help on a problem. I went to Monster.com, and I found a job in my hometown of Irvine at J.P. Morgan Chase. It pays $16.50 an hour, um, and so I wondered if I could, um, if you'd indulge me, um, when you do the math on this and you do the $16.50 out at 40 hours a week for 52 weeks a year, it comes out to an income of $35,070. Now this bank teller, her name is Patricia, she has one child who's six years old. She claims the one dependent after tax. She has $29,100. We divide that by 12. She rents a one-bedroom apartment. She and her daughter sleep together in the same room. In Irvine, California, that average one-bedroom apartment is gonna be $1,600. She spends $100 on utilities, take away the $1,700, and she has net $725. She's like me, she drives a 2008 minivan and has gas. $400 for car expenses and gas, net $325. The Department of Agriculture says a low-cost food budget, that is ramen noodles, a low food budget is $400. That leaves her $77 in the red. She has a Cricket cell phone, the cheapest cell phone she can get for $40. She's in the red, $117 a month. She has after-school childcare because the bank is open during normal business hours. That's $450 a month. That takes her down to negative $567 per month. My question for you, Mr. Diamond, is how should she manage this budget shortfall while she's working full-time at your bank? I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Would you recommend that she take out a J.P. Morgan Chase credit card and run a deficit? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Would you recommend that she overdraft at your bank and be charged overdraft fees? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. So, I know you have a lot I'd of... I'd love to call up and have a conversation about her financial affairs and see if we can be helpful. See if you can find a way for her to live on less than the minimum that I've described. Just be helpful. Well, I appreciate your desire to be helpful, but what I'd like you to do is provide a way for families to make ends meet so that little kids who are six years old living in a one-bedroom apartment with their mother aren't going hungry at night because they're $567 short from feeding themselves, clothing them. We allowed no money for clothing. We allowed no money for school lunches. We allowed no money for field trips, no money for medical, no money for prescription drugs, nothing. And she's short $567 already.